welcome back to the spider's web guess what everybody it's here it's relic it's talisman in the 40k universe let's uh, have a look at this shall we it's a nice front cover and there we go Got the introduction into the game uh, but Example of a few of the figures and the cards. Um, according to this, it's age 14 plus for two to four players. It takes one to two hours. Whether that's right or not, only time will tell. So let's get cracking. Box open. Let's see what's inside. Oh, yes. It's a heavy box. It's a heavy box. It's not light. And as you can tell, every time I pop it down on the table, the camera wobbles. <laughs> there we are. So, what's inside? Let's have a look. We have, as per usual, Fantasy Flights Games Catalog. That can go. We have a nice rule book. And these pictures, hopefully, it's easy to follow. How many pages are we looking at? 24 pages. That's including the back page. Hopefully, as I say, that's going to be quite easy to follow. Um, and then we've got our tokens, and they're all in these Ziploc baggies. So no cutting some of in. Anything like that, it's as per usual in with uh, the talisman thing and baggies and as I've not looked through the um, not through the rooms properly yet so I've not a clue what on these do we've got the Cooks Imperialis there it's not the Cooks Imperialis it's the uh, oh what's it called the Dome-headed Eagle um, Aquila. The Cooks Imperialis is the, uh, the big cross, isn't it, that Terminators have on the um, shoulders, pauldrons. So we've got the separate dials. Yellow, blue, green, red, whatever difference they are. I don't know. And next we have what I can assume is the playing board itself. Um, I'm going to take this out and give a quick, quick glance at it because I can see it being a big one in the same way as, oh yes it's a big one, <laughs> um, in the same way the Townsman board is, um, yes I think it's a little bigger than the Townsman board actually, but you can see from that there's lovely artwork there. Um, what do we have? The Twilight Fringe here. Um, Mutant World in the court in the bottom here. The Saint Saint Antius Sanctuary. The Hive Worlds. Um, yes, that looks a really nice board. So I'll, I'll do a proper overview of the game. Well, over give you the contents properly. Um, no, we're not looking at them yet. We're not looking at them yet. We have cards first of all. We have different cards. We have cards with a blue back. Not turquoise. Okay, and these seem to be. Uh, to any 
Oh, we have two runnies. We have chaos. And other things in there. So these look like they're all. We've got enemy, we've got, we've got enemy cards, we've got encounter cards. And these and they're all the same colour. Then we have yellow cards. Which are these. And again we have these we have elder. Uh, all chaos stuff and various encounters and then we have red and I'm assuming these will be the same things but we have another pack of cards over here so I'm assuming that the form the cards and here we're going to follow on. I do believe that it does look like it. Uh, just excuse me for a second. We have yes, enemy cards, which uh, is what it looks like. Orcs. Yes, orcs. Um, again, chaos. And then we've got encounters. Okay, so that's yellow, blue, and red. Um, found the red one there. What else do we have? We have, what I'm assuming are chaos cards. And I'm assuming that because it's got the chaos eight pointed star on the back and the black cards. What these are, I'm not sure as yet. So if you've seen, if you're seeing this for the first time now, well, so am I. Uh, what else do we have? Um, I'm not sure if this is something to do with the Inquisition. I think it is. Inquisition, but I think it's a uh, librarian's, isn't it? Um, I think these blue ones here that I've got in my hand now, uh, Inquisition cards. Because that looks like that looks, that looks like the Inquisition logo. But I may be wrong. This looks like it's um, equipment. And we have one with a thunder hammer on the back. And these again are uh, what they call assets in here. So it looks like yes, they're equipment. But as I said, what they do, I don't know. And then there is uh, sorry. Then there's these cards. Um, I think these are the ones, these are the uh, quest cards. There you go. Okay, so they're, they're the little cards that you get with them. <coughs> Next we have the, the bag with the fixings for the um, dials. So I'll just tip everything else on the table here first of all. We have four dice, which are nothing fancy like the Talisman die, dice, are, which has the Talisman logo. 
on as number one. I'd have thought these would be something similar, but unfortunately not. And we have little marker pegs as well. Again, what these are for, I'm not sure. But um, as I say, I'll have a look through the rules a little later and see what I can find with them. Next, like Talisman, we get the bigger cards, and these will be um, the cards you'd use. It's like end game cards, I would imagine. What mystery? Cards Manufactorum. These are the cards that you you get when you get to the centre of the board in order to actually win the game. And you also have your character cards. So your characters you get are an ultramarine captain. A Canoness from the Adeptus Sororitas. You get a sanctioned Psyker, an Ardo Malleus Inquisitor, a Tech Priest Engine uh, Engine Seer, a Rogue Trader, a Guild a Calidus Assassin, a Rattling Sniper, an Ogrin. And a commissar. So there are your choices. There are your character cards. Now let's have a look at the characters themselves. If we could just open the open the bag without dropping dropping it. Now when I say look at the bags themselves, we have first of all these little pegs markers whatever they may be I'm not I'm not sure I suppose we'll find out at some point now I know what they are these are what your characters stand on you know, they're basically slot in there so you've got your your colour or what piece you are, but obviously these are all going to be painted. So they are quite a large. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this box so I can get these in focus, and there's your assassin. And then we have the um, oh, what was it called again? The fair engine seer, mechanic of engine seer. You've got your rogue trader. Battle the Dictosaurus. Commissar. That will be, I'm sure that will be the Rocking Sniper. Yes, it is because that one's the sanctioned Sanka. Finally, last but not least, the Ultramarine. Unfortunately, it's Ultramarine. Can't really do anything about it because the thingy card says so. I was hoping it'd just be a generic Space Marine. I could do it whatever um, chaps I wanted to be, but no. 
So we can't have everything, can we? So that's the contents of the board. Um, oh, that's the contents of the board. That's the contents of the box. Um, I'm not going to take everything to pieces now. I'm going to do that off camera, and then tomorrow I can uh, do a much better video showing all the pieces and uh, how everything works together. So until then, take care. God bless. Bye for now.